Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the absorption of alpha particles. If we consider the specific ionization caused in air by alpha particles from a given source measured from various distances from the source and the graph is plotted for the specific ionization versus the distance from the source uh, then we get the curve which we call the Bragg's curve and it looks like this x axis being distance from the source in air and y axis being specific ionization it is observed that the rate of specific ionization increases with increasing distance from the source at first slowly then it increases rapidly after passing through a maximum distance after which it has been observed to drop very sharply to zero so we can see it rises gradually then rapidly to a peak and then falls sharply to zero as the alpha particle proceeds through the medium it produces ion pairs its energy and speed decreases steadily and with reduction of the speed the rate of producing ion pairs increases therefore after traveling certain distances, alpha particle speed has reduced significantly, which gives to the maximum number of specific ionization. Now here, this is the alpha particle trajectory in a medium. We can see that at first it traverses quite uniformly and after that it starts to scatter. So basically, the lateral strangling is... Uh, <coughs> At first it's uniform and then it's spreading away and the same is the pattern for the longitudinal and the lateral straggling both. Uh, because uh, as I said, at first it traverses some distances because it has a very high velocity and energy. After that it lose, uh, starts losing energy and therefore collision starts taking place more with the atoms in the medium. More ionization occurs and then the alpha particle starts spreading away. Now this extrapolated part is called the range of the alpha particle this means the thickness of the material we will need to stop that amount of alpha particle from penetrating through the sudden decrease in specific ionization for a given alpha particle source can therefore be credited to the fact that particles from a given source have nearly same amount of energy and that is why they all cease to ionize after traveling a certain distance which is very close for most of the particles under consideration and speaking about range of the alpha particle basically beyond this point the alpha particle practically cease to produce ionization Therefore, relative stopping power equals to range of alpha particles in air divided by the range of alpha particles in the given material under consideration. Therefore, we can say more is the relative stopping power, thinner is the material required to stop the alpha particle, which we can see from some examples. Water, it's 1000. For aluminum, it's 1600. And for lead, the relative stopping power is more than 5000. If an alpha particle has a range of 5 mm in air, which is a large range, so it will have 5 micrometer of range in human tissue. As we see, the relative stopping power is 1000. So basically, the relative stopping power for water and human tissue are same. And it would require just 10 micrometers of paper to stop essentially all the alpha particles from this radioactive origin. Thank you. Please like, share and subscribe.